Hello, my name is Brittany Hawkins and I'm a fifth semester nursing student here at ETSU. I'm the current SNA president and I'm also a peer, peer ambassador and I'd like to share a little bit of information with you today. For first semester nursing students, I would strongly advise to have a planner. Um, get crayons, get colored pencils, something to color coordinate and keep your things in order. Time management is very important and if you get behind it's very hard to make up that time. Um, so staying on top of things is very, very, very important. My favorite area of nursing has absolutely changed. When I first started the program, I was pretty dead set on being in oncology or orthopedics. But as the program has gone and I took OB and Peds, I really fell in love with labor and delivery. Um, I love babies, I love children, but I never expected to really fall in love with labor and delivery like I have. That is my new passion um, and where I hope to end up very soon. Being a peer, I am able to communicate on a different level with students. Um, I've been in their shoes, I know what they've been through, and it's easier to explain and communicate um, versus having a professor or someone of more authority being able to, to give that information. My name is Juliana Blinkenbeckler. I'm a peer ambassador for the College of Nursing. I am the class president of the graduating class of May 2019. Being a peer ambassador, has created an environment where I have been able to grow as a leader and as a somebody who communicates with crowds and can um, articulate myself in front of others, which is an which is something that you can practice in nursing and you can practice in just being a person in your community. Uh, future nursing students have the ability to learn from peer ambassadors in a way that they wouldn't be able to learn from somebody who wasn't already in the program or had just recently gone through the program because we learn and we're mentored by people that are either, you know, they're adults that have practiced different uh, lifestyles, like maybe they didn't have a career in nursing and now they have a career in education, or we learn from people who went through the nursing program a long time ago and don't have the same experiences that we do. So being able to connect one-on-one -on -one with others and to be like, you know, this is what's important, this is what I felt throughout my time, and it be, it's still relevant. And I think that's what's neat about the Peer Ambassador Program. It's not about finding a job because there is a shortage of nurses. You're going to find a job. But it's about finding the job you want and creating the person and the leadership skills that you want to be represented in that job and during your interview. So the Peer Ambassador Program and other leadership opportunities through the College of Nursing are what's going to hone your skills. My name is Tegan Trent and I'm a fifth semester student of nursing here at East Tennessee State University. One thing that I wish I could have done beforehand, before I started the program, was get a job as a CNA. I just feel like that would have been something to get me more comfortable in the clinical setting and also be able to see some procedures and just the flow of the hospital work. Coming into the program, I wanted to do ICU nursing, and here at the end, I still want to continue to pursue ICU nursing. But one thing I will say is throughout this program, I did grow to really like psychiatric nursing. I just thought that was very interesting and something that I could see myself potentially doing. Some advice for starting the program is, I'm a, a mentor told me, he said, whatever route you choose, he said, support that profession and stay involved because you should be proud of your profession and be the change that you would like to see in this profession. Uh, my name is Joshua Sharp and I'm a fifth semester nursing student here at East Tennessee State University and I'm graduating in May of 2019. Advice that I would give to first semester students coming in would most likely be time management skills because it's so important throughout each and every semester. You have to build on it and then that'll even carry over into whenever you get a job and you're out in the real world, you know, you're caring for these patients and you have to prioritize what's important, what is a critical need, what is what to be able to give the best care possible for your patients. When I came into the program, I initially thought that I wanted to do pediatrics. And now, when I'm right here at graduation, I've decided that cardiac um, surgery is kind of my focus point. The, the heart is just so important to me. Develop relationships with these people um, that you're gonna be with for the next two and a half years. They're gonna be, you know, the closest thing to family that you have up here. Um, you're with them in and out every day, five days a week, and you'll develop friendships that will last a lifetime throughout this program. My name is Hannah Sparks. I'm a fifth semester student here at East Tennessee State University and I graduate in May 2019. 
Some things I wish I would have known before I started nursing school was um, the importance of time management and communication with your professors as well as how important ATI really is um, because that's just a really good tool that we are given to um, help for the NCLEX and just to really take that important. Some advice that I would give to a first semester student is to just really learn how to communicate with your teachers as well as your peers. Um, your peers are going to be your best friends, your study buddies, all that kind of stuff. And so really just um, communicate with each other and help each other out and try to build each other up and not make it a competition because a lot of times we want to do better than each other but in the end we're all here for the same reason so if we can help each other out it'll be a lot easier along the way. Something that a student can learn from us as peers is just how to look up to each other and get the advice about different teachers to take to help better prepare you for nursing school and kind of the ways each teacher is because each teacher teaches so differently and so just to have those people that have been through it and in the same shoes that you have is really important. I'm Savannah Stafford and I'm a fifth semester nursing student at East Tennessee State University and I graduate May 2019. My favorite part of nursing so far has been how much I've learned about myself, the people I've met along the way. Um, throughout the program, you really get to know one another really closely, and you really get to know who you really are. Whenever I talk to people who are just starting out in the nursing program, I always talk about the importance of organization throughout the entire program. Between each week, you have clinicals, you have tests, you have all these different things to worry about, and if you are not organized, it's going to be really hard for you to do well in the nursing program. Whenever I first started in the nursing program, I absolutely wanted to do labor and delivery. Um, I didn't think I had any doubts about it, it's all I was interested in. And as I've gone through the program, I've realized that I really love critical care areas and I love critical care patients and how you can develop a true connection with them and their families.